Hey, what's going on guys? Tim Z here from Disrupt Gaming, and in today's video, we're going to continue our How to Defend series, moving on to Army Lockers and Archives on Border, so let's get into it. So when it comes to defending Armory Lockers, you're going to want to run a Smoke, a Jaeger, a Maestro, a Valkyrie, and then a Waldenau. Now in this case, we're going to run the Mute, because I want to show you guys a pretty neat Mute Jammer setup, but you guys can run the Bandit as well, just to Bandit check the Armory Wall. Now when it comes to reinforcements, you're going to get the two Armory Walls, the two Archive Walls, the two back fountain walls, all three of the office walls, and as for your last reinforcement, you can either place it in the small office on the left hand side, or in 90 on the break room wall. Now before we talk about utility, if you guys are enjoying this how to defend series and you guys are not subscribed to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you guys don't miss a future video, and you guys can also still get your Disrupt Gaming in-game weapon skin for the L85 on Sledge and Thatcher. All you guys gotta do is go to the in-game store, check out the eSports tab, and you guys should see it right there. So we're going to start off with the smoke so we can go over all of the rotation holes and line of sight. Now smoke doesn't have a whole lot to set up on this objective, so I'm going to show you guys a bunch of holes that you could make, and then you guys decide which holes you actually want to make when you play this objective. Now we're going to start by making some feet holes across the right side of the small office wall. And then from there we're going to make our way to half wall. We're going to make some holes in half wall to watch the ventilation door. And we're also going to watch the ventilation window. And if we go to the other side of half wall, we're going to make some holes here as well to watch the ventilation window. Now dealing with sandwich window is really annoying, so we're going to make some holes underneath the sandwich window and this can hopefully be for a teammate late round to go underneath and shoot the person off the upside down rappel on sandwich window. And if we go to the bomb chassis, there's like a little pixel that you can get if you open up the floor next to the bomb that watches the server window or server door run in, so you guys can see that as well. And then last but not least, we're going to make some holes high up on this wall. And this is going to allow you to throw smokes, throw nitros from the safety of armory over the wall to concrete, archive door, AC window, or anything like that. Now from there we're going to place our shield on the armory locker. Make sure you don't attach to this locker. Give it some space so that the ADSs can be placed next to it and cover anything that gets thrown towards it. And then from there you're pretty much set up on the smoke when it comes to positioning. You're going to play inside of armory slash small office and kind of rotate around through your smokes and do everything you need to do. Next we're going to move on to the Jaeger. Now we're going to start by placing two ADSs on this armory locker here. This will be for the smoke shield that we talked about a second ago. And then from there we're going to place our third one on half wall. This will be for anybody playing half wall hopefully. And then from there we're going to place our barb. Our first one's going to go on the armory door. And then our second one's going to go on the metal detector at the top of the metal stairs. We're actually going to place it inside of the door on the other armory door. And then from there, we are pretty much set up as the Jaeger. I recommend roaming in some form or fashion. On this setup, we're actually going to be playing Office as well. So keep that in mind when it comes to roaming. But that is pretty much going to be the setup for the Jaeger. And now we're going to make our way to the Maestro. So we're going to start by placing our Evil Eyes. The first one's going to go inside of Armory somewhere. I usually like to place it on the half wall. And then our second one's going to go inside of Archives. We're actually going to put it on the boost spot. So if you guys don't know how to get up on the boost spot, you just vault up on the table run around the back of the computer, and then you should be able to elevate yourself and vault onto the top of the shelves. And we're actually going to place it up high on this boost spot. And then our barb, we're going to place one piece of barb on the archive door. And then our second one's going to go all the way into office. We're actually going to place it on the office double door. And then from there, you're pretty much set up with the maestro. When it comes to positioning, you're going to be inside of the objective with the smoke. So anywhere inside of office, archives, or armory. And that is pretty much it for the Maestro. Now moving on to the Valkyrie, you guys know I normally don't tell you exactly where to throw a cam, so I'm going to show you guys some spots that are good to have some sort of info. So the first one's going to be inside of Office, and then the second spot's going to be somewhere inside of CCTV, so you know what you're dealing with when it comes to the flank or anything like that. And then last but not least, throwing a cam outside. Um, usually I open up Sandwich Window, you could throw it on this lamppost here, or some sort of variation of this Val cam, just to have some info on the Armory repels outside the front door ventilation window. Now everybody knows this lamp post cam, so definitely throw some variation of this, or at least try this one first, and then if it gets shot, try some different variation of this valve cam. But just getting some info outside is always good. And then for the most part, when it comes to positioning, you are typically another roamer. You can definitely go downstairs inside of customs and try to get some nitros through the floor, or inside of office, you can get some nitros inside of office as well. So it's pretty much up to you, but you are going to be roaming as the Valkyrie. 
And last but not least, we have the Mute. Now, if you guys want to run the Bandit instead, you're more than welcome to, to actively Bandit trick the Armory Wall, but I at least want to show you guys this Mute Chamber setup inside of Office. So we're going to start by placing a Mute Chamber on the left and middle reinforcements. We're just going to place it smack dab in the middle of those two reinforcements. And then our second one's going to go tucked in the right side corner here. This will cover the last Office Wall, but also the East Door that leads to 90 from any drones. And then our third one's going to go in the opposite corner. We're going to place it in here as well, and this will cover the office double door as well as part of 90 Hall from any drone economy as well. And then from there, our fourth one's going to go inside of Armory, and this will just be placed on the Armory wall to have some sort of wall denial on that side of the map. And the great thing about playing inside of Office is this allows you to play a lot of extra night shows that you otherwise really wouldn't be able to. Um, around the office area as well as part of the top east stairs. So I'm actually going to show you guys some pretty good night shows that you guys can use on this objective. So for those of you that haven't watched the border tips video, this is going to be some nitros from that one, but you guys can actually nitro over two arches to land on the new square balcony that leads to the east doorway. All you have to do is walk forward when you throw it to give it enough momentum. And the great thing about this one is you can use the east doors or the east cam getting shot as an audio cue letting you know that people are entering that side of the map. Now, if we make it back into office, we're actually going to line up diagonally with the printer. Look at the top of the arch, go straight up from there until you reach that pipe, and then you just chuck it. And it goes through the arch and lands perfectly inside of the doorway of East Stairs. And this, again, is great because you can use the audio cue on East Stairs to let you know that people are entering that side of the map. Now, making our way back into archives, I'm sure a lot of you already know that you can nitro over the shelf and land outside of the AC window, but I do want to reiterate it that you can do this. If you guys are getting pressured on the AC window, all you have to do is chuck it over and it should land perfectly outside of the window. And from there, back into archives, you can actually nitro pretty much anywhere inside of office. You have these two arches at the top of the archive walls, which allows you to nitro not only radio window, you could throw it on the inside of radio window, you can land it outside the window onto the balcony, but you can also nitro inside of office. You can nitro towards triple wall. All you have to do is kind of line yourself up facing towards triple wall when you throw it. And then you can also line up a nitro where it lands on the office double door, just like so. I chuck it over towards triple wall and it lands perfectly right there, even if they do get the wall open and try to enter into office. And then if they're pushing the office double door, if you have that barbed wire there still, all you have to do is line up and chuck it over and as you can see it lands perfectly inside of the office double door so anybody pushing from 90 hall will get blown up anyways guys that's going to be all for me thank you so much for watching i hope you all enjoy it if you did so don't forget to leave a like on the video and if you guys are new to the channel consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell so you guys don't miss a future video and if you guys have any questions leave them down in the comments below and if you want to suggest the next site or map that we go over in this series let me know by leaving a comment down below as well anyways guys i will see you in the next video Peace.